Hey everyone, so I made a video today that it's a little different than my normal videos, but I thought I would share it with you. I wrote this the other day, um, normally in my videos I just ramble, but I thought I wanted to make a video about what the DCP does to you, like, emotionally from start to finish, like from the moment you get accepted to the day you leave. So, um, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so what the DCP does to you. The Disney College program is a heavy set of words, full of wonder and magic that no one can really understand. Program Before the program, you'll start to feel the magic flow through your veins, in your bones, in your heart, the pit of your stomach. Found out that you've been accepted and you're overflowing with pride, the feeling of accomplishment. You have the freak out moment of picking your check-in date, joining the Facebook DCP groups, seeing how excited everyone else is to go just as much as you. And you can't help but feel connected to all those people in that group. You watch vlogs and you read blogs. You wonder when and how you'll meet your roommates. Less than a hundred days now until you leave. And you're already itching to pack your bag. You see a Disney commercial on TV and you get a huge knot in your throat. And part of you just wants to cry because you feel a huge sensation of connection of all things Disney. The days are growing shorter and your check-in day is right around the corner. You have a realization that you're leaving your family and your friends. You hate it, but you love it. You have the feeling of achievement in your sights and it's within your reach now. The time has come, the walrus said. It's time for you to depart. You want to cry for a thousand and one reasons. It's time. You arrive and you meet your roommates for the first time. You're about to go through a journey of a lifetime together and your bed will only be 10 feet apart the whole time. Check-in comes and you have the sensation of wanting to throw up and do a dance at the same time. Everyone you met on the Facebook page is face to face with you and you feel closer than ever to these people. These people, they are your DFAM. You've checked in, you've gotten your apartment, found out where you'll be working. Whether you like the location or not, it doesn't matter. You did it. You're a cast member of Disney. You settle into your apartment and your parents leave. And all there is to do is to look in the mirror. See the Disney look that you're sporting in your business attire. Then you go to traditions. And you feel the magic for the, the real magic for the very first time. Costuming for the first time will be a blur. You won't, know, you won't know where to go or what to do or what to get. And then you'll realize how messed up Disney sizing really is. You'll train and you'll train. Some roles longer than others. But then, after training, you will have earned your years. You'll make magic, see and interact with Make-A-Wish children. That alone changes you. Whew. Oh, I'm gonna cry, okay. You'll create magical moments. Darn it, I said I wasn't gonna cry. Okay. You'll make magical moments for guests. You go to all, to all the parks for free. Feel like the luckiest person ever. You'll feel homesick often. There will be some days that you'll want to call it quits. The stress will get to your head. Tests will drive you crazy. Florida heat is like nothing else. Your extra magic hours will slowly turn to extra tragic hours. 40 hour a week will turn into 55 hour weeks. <sighs> but you'll get over it quickly. You'll get over it quickly when you see a parent and a child crying when they see wishes for the first time. It's the little things like that that make being a cast member so worth it. The end of your program is in sight, and you will feel like you haven't done enough exciting things. Your days off will be spent doing insane things all around the Orlando area. Your suitcases and packing boxes. You'll find old costumes that are crunchy now from dried sweat. Turn in your housing key. And you'll look back at your complex as you drive away. Odds are you're already crying, and if you weren't at that point, now you probably are. But somewhere, at some point, you'll see a Disney commercial, a Disney movie laying around, or a hidden Mickey somewhere that probably wasn't intended to be a hidden Mickey, but your mind makes it one. You, my friend, will never shake the Disney bug. You've been on a journey that could have never been possible without one man one mouse. This video is harder than I thought it would be to make. 